Hello and welcome into another video. Right, so the new Aldi has opened in Speak on the junction of Speak Hall Road and Speak Road. Um, I do like Aldi, my favourite supermarket at the moment. Uh, I used to fave Neto because I used to work for them, but yeah, that's another story. Um, anyway, before I go shopping, this Aldi is built on the site of the former Ridgeway Tea Factory, and before that, it was Mothax Mothball Making Factory. Said that right? Mothax was how it was locally known, but its real name was Thompson and Kappa which to this day is still going, but it's not around here. Right, so it's here in Runcorn on the Asmore Industrial Estate. And it is quite a big place by the looks of it. So in 1965, a Cambrian Airways plane crashed on this very site, killing four people, two people on the ground and two people in the plane. At the time of me posting this, it's the 20th of July 2022 and it will mark the 57th anniversary of that crash. So I was just out and about doing my shopping just in the area and this site now has come accessible because of the Aldi. Um, so I just thought I'd make a short video on it because I've spoken to a few people around the area and just in general and they've never heard of a crash being on this site before. So I just thought I'd make a video and if you didn't know about it, you do now. So this is the story of Liverpool's worst air disaster. On the 20th of July 1965, a plane landing at Speak Airport overshot the runway and crashed into a factory, killing four people. Viscount G forward slash Amol departed Ronald's Way at 1649 for a flight to Liverpool. The flight was made at flight level 70 and at 1708 hours the aircraft was identified by Liverpool radar over Wallasey and positioned for a PPI continuous descent radar approach to runway 26. Half a mile from touchdown the radar approach was completed and the aircraft was then seen on radar just to be discernibly to the right of the centre line. No radio messages were received from the aircraft after the start of the talk down. At 550 metres from the threshold, it was estimated to be at a height between 30 and 60 metres and about 40 metres to the right of the centre line. At this point, witnesses saw the aircraft bank and turn to the right. The fuselage was level and the aircraft was banked almost vertically for part of that turn. When heading in approximately the opposite direction to the runway, it rolled on its back and crashed into the roof of a factory about 365 metres to the right of the extended centre line of the runway and about 550 metres from the threshold. After penetrating the roof, the aircraft had struck a heavy steel girder which had caused it to tip tail over nose. It had then come to rest the right way up on the floor of the workshop with the tail resting on the steel roof trusses. An intense fire then broke out, which consumed almost the whole structure of the fuselage. Conditions at the time of landing was slight drizzle, but otherwise good visibility. The two pilots, Michael Warrington and Peter Kenny, were killed instantly, and two factory supervisors who had stayed late, June Simpson and Elizabeth Farrell, died of smoke inhalation. The resulting mushroom cloud and shock waves could be experienced for miles around. Several inquiries also failed to establish the cause of the crash. So this flight of Cambrian Airways Viscount needed to be moved without any passengers from the Isle of Man to Liverpool. The short hop across the Irish Sea in the late afternoon of July 20th, 1965. It was routine and uneventful. And why this plane crashed is a mystery. As I say, it just suddenly rolled to the right, pulled round in a right turn and continued rolling until it was on its back and it crashed to the roof of the factory at the junction of Speak Road and Speak Hall Road.
Yeah, so as I say, there's not much left. There's the Aldi there. Speak all road here. Speak road down there. A lot of land that's left open for all more units, I'm assuming. So maybe in a couple of years time, well, or before that, we'll see quite a number of shops pop up around here. Sort of like a bit of a mini industrial estate or a mini retail park, maybe. Uh, I did sort of hear rumors ages ago that this retail park was going to continue all the way up here and this land where they store the cars is going to sort of be uh, put elsewhere but I don't know how true that is so cheers for watching as always uh, thanks for Bob to put me onto this one thanks mate and I'll catch it all in the next video